my dog is dreaming, so he makes weird noises. Um, what's up? How are you guys this morning? So I'm just going to do the energy of like what the day is going to be like. Um, because if we know the energies of the day, we can work with them better. Um, and we know what to expect so we can take advantage of them. Um, like yesterday was either people were going to, if you knew the energies, you knew how to like work with them better. Um, but at the same time, if you don't, then you could have been affected in a negative way. It all depends on like your emotional regulation and how you know how to handle your own energy and what you want to put it towards. So obviously, if somebody wants to fight with you, it's up to you if you want to either take advantage of the energies of what's going on in the universe or you can take advantage of whatever, whatever energy is coming towards you and how you want to respond, um, you know, react. But uh, let's try to act instead of react. It's it's way better. Um, meaning step back, you know, look at the situation, take a second to respond. Um, uh, if I play with this, it's because it's hurting. Um, I had it out for a couple days and I just put it back in cause I found, I couldn't find it. And I, yeah, I just put it back in. It feels uncomfortable. Plus I had to like poke a huge hole of skin and I like threw and I probably should have stabbed it with this first, but I didn't. So if I play with it, it's because it hurts. <laughs> Anyways, when I went to go do this, I usually ask, like, what is the energy going to be like? And today is the first day of summer. So it's June 21st. Um, it's summer solstice. So pretty much like the way it goes with the seasons is, you know, winter, everything dies down. Um, spring is rebirth. Summer is where we harvest our seeds are manifestations where they grow and come to life and then fall we harvest again for the upcoming die down rebirth harvest okay so things that you might have um tried to start manifesting during the new moon those are the things that are going to be growing the most so if there was wishes that you prayed to the moon for or anything like that um, try to think back to the moon, new moon. Um, we just had the strawberry blood moon, uh, full moon uh, last weekend, I think, or last week at some point in time, something like that. Um, so those are also going to be full manifestations for when the new moon comes. Um, so just keep that in mind. Moon cycle is actually really important. So when I went to go do this video, I heard... The hills are, and like, I'm trying to be quiet because I have, like, my friend over who needed to spend the night, um, and I just feel weird when people are here, and I'm going to have to get used to it because I'm having somebody move in with me, so, um, it's going to be weird when the person doesn't really know <laughs> much about what I do, and I doubt watches any of my videos, um, or at least maybe the ones about astrology and stuff, but... You never know. Anyways, so it's going to be interesting because it's not like I'm embarrassed about the things I do, but like I'm still, I don't know how to explain it because it's not like I'm not comfortable with myself. I don't know. Maybe it's like a judging thing. But anyways, so yesterday was a day of like, could be anger, high tension, um, things could be misunderstood. Uh, you know, and I put that out there. So even when I started a fight, like I instantly was like, crap, nope. I understand the energies. I know why I'm doing this. Like, so I apologize like right away before the person could even respond or see it or anything. Well, a little while after, because then I realized what I did. I was like, yo, Bethany, come on. So I like Immediately was just like, that wasn't fair to you. I'm sorry. I was being selfish. Like I was trying to start a fight, not even really realizing it because the moon is our subconscious mind. It's the fears that are in our subconscious mind. It's the illusions. It's the things that we don't see. It's the things that are behind the veil. Okay. So pretty much today when I asked how the energies were going to be, not how the planetary alignment was, how the energies were going to be, I heard moon in conjunct with Jupiter. And I felt this new beginning type um, feeling of optimism and wonder and glory and um, positivity, luck. Um, and that's what Jupiter is about. Jupiter is about luck. It's about 
um, the maternal kind of figure. I'm pretty sure, no, the moon, rep, uh, blah, the moon governs, right? The moon governs um, cancer, the uh, zodiac cancer. So the cancer planet is all about maternal. So this is a very nurturing time of a new beginning. Um, it could be, you know, buying a house, like signing papers over for a house, um, deciding you want to start a family, a new career, a new relationship, like moving in somewhere new, moving out somewhere new, like, I mean, somewhere old into new, like it could be any kind of situation, but there's kind of like a new beginning type feeling to it. Um, as long as you take advantage of the energies, it can be a really good day for you, okay? It can be a very graceful, smooth sailing day where, like, you're just happy. Like, you just feel joy of, like, that new beginning or just within yourself in general. Um, if you've done healing work, especially since the new moon, it's really going to benefit you today um, because those who, excuse me, those who decide to heal are more sensitive to the planets, um, and that doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. I mean, everybody is really uh, affected by the energies of the planet's alignments at all times. But the only difference is, is if you're healing, you're more sensitive to it because you're more open. You're more absorbent. You're more in that kind of nature. So Jupiter comes in and brings blessings, right? The moon is about the subconscious, like fear-based things that we don't know. That's kind of like what our subconscious mind is. We don't really know what's stored in there because a lot of it is our inner child. So these could be blessings that you don't even realize you wanted or you wanted, but you feared. But today is actually going to prove to you that there is no reason to fear it. And you're going to be surprised with the outcome. Okay, because you could have wished for something a long time ago. It couldn't even it could have even been near the new moon. Um, and the fears could have started subsiding around the full moon, the strawberry moon that we just had. Um, I think it was in Virgo. No, no, Gen no, I don't remember. For some reason, I feel like it was in Virgo, but I feel like I'm wrong at the same time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, if you look it up, whatever full moon it was, it's going to be illuminated a lot more. So for an example, if it was Virgo, Virgo is very organized. It's kind of not anal, but they're very organized. They're very practical. So it's like that side of you might be more illuminated to this conjunction. Well, see, this is, this is the thing. I asked what it was going to feel like. I didn't ask what it was. But then when I looked it up, I put in um, moon in conjunct with Jupiter and it actually came up June 21st for today. So that was pretty cool. I was like, Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? But the people that are did heal, you're going to be more success, subsec, subsess, subsessible, subsess, subsex, <laughs> like subsessible, whatever. You're going to be more aware of the energy of happiness. Um, the people that have uh, moon conjunct in their birth chart are going to also be more affected by this. And that's a good thing because Jupiter brings in blessings, again, that you might have wanted a long time ago. You thought you didn't want anymore. You feared happening. You feared not of happening. You feared of turning out bad. And you're going to be like, oh, huh. Yes, I still did want this. Or you're not even going to realize how much you still actually did want it. Um... It's new beginnings. It's a new harvest. It's the crops are growing. The crops are going to be growing where next season will be fall and then they're going to die down again and we're going to, you know, crop the plants again. And it's going to go through the whole cycle. Um, today should be a very abundant day for everybody if we really take advantage of it. People are going to be more whole, whole, wholeheartedly, wholehearted, um, joyful, optimistic, positive. Um, there can be the ones that are going to be pessimistic, but those are the ones that really kind of like refuse to heal. So if you see somebody that is in that kind of energy, kind of just be susceptible. I was going to say it again, susceptible to be aware of that, because obviously that means like they're going to be going through the opposite kind of thing where they could be having bad luck. 
um, their wishes could get worse. Um, it could manifest negatively or it could just, you know, subside and submerge even more down into their subconscious of fear or not realizing how badly they want it. And they could be having a bad day. So just be aware if you come into a stranger that is not very happy, try to just be kind to everybody because you never know what somebody's going through and you never know their birth chart, you know. Um, but these are people that are going to be very forgiving uh, just don't be too forgiving, you know, still remember pain that you went through, but not in that way where you're feeling it and you're feeling like crap, like, and it's a triggering type of thing. It's more like, yes, forgive. Yes, have that good person mentality, but to a point where if a new beginning comes up, like a job offer comes, but it was like an old job. But, like, they're giving you more money because they want you to come back. And all you can, you remember the hard work you put in and the not being appreciated or a relationship and exit comes back. And, you know, you forget you're so excited because you forgot how much you wanted it until it shows up again because the fear isn't there that it's not going to happen. So you got to still be aware, like, yes, I want to move forward with this person. Yes. I want to see what happens, but don't be oblivious to the fact that you were hurt at one time. So forgive, but and I'm not going to say be careful because I don't want people to be like thinking that they're going to get hurt. Like that's the total opposite, the energy that you want to try to be in today. Um, you want to be open, open minded to the new. And if it comes from the old, just know that what was isn't going to be again. Um, but again, it's all how you take advantage of the energies, okay? So you can be very kind-hearted and still forgive, but still remember, like, you know, and if a trigger does come up and it arises out of your subconscious without you even really knowing you even have that anymore or you thought you healed it, be good. Like, just be patient with yourself. Like, be kind to yourself. Don't be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that I'm so stupid. I can't don't be hard on yourselves because then it's just going to ruin your day and you could really be taking advantage of these good high energy vibrational vibes rather than take advantage of it going to shit and being very pessimistic and not so happy and more negative um yeah so this is a time where blessings and wishes from before we're going to start coming about and um, coming into summer. Um, you know, each day is different, but it's, again, it's all how you take it, take it, the energy. If you can know how to work with it and what's available and what is available, if it's a negative thing, like yesterday, like since I knew the whole anger thing, I took advantage of knowing that and I transmuted the energy into something positive and something positive came out of it. And I was rewarded with that. You know what I mean? So it's like, it all is perspective. Everything is perspective. So it's however you want to take today into consideration. And it's how you want to be susceptible about it. <laughs> how you want to be affected with it. Okay. Um, oh, so the song that popped into my head when I was thinking about today was... <clears throat> From the sound of music, the hills are alive with the sound of music. So maybe um, healing, music will really help with healing today if you need that. Or maybe it's just going to make you wicked super happy and you're just going to be in a good mood, like bounce around all day, like all, like kind of thing. <laughs> so, um, but like I said, transmute your energy. If you see it going into a negative path, change a perspective of the situation or why you try to also like do healing work today. Like, cause it's going to benefit you in a really good way. Cause you're also going to have that energy of being able to take in your blessings and look at things differently, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to end here. I think I'm going to try to do my candle wax reading, but I'm not sure. Um, I learned how to, well, not learn because it's all intuition. Anybody can do it, but I got into that recently. Um, but I feel like it's still going to be like the energy of today. So it's kind of like the same exact thing, but okay. Um, I didn't check the post to see if anybody put they want certain healing. 
I think I'm going to do like planetary healing Reiki every day, like through the camera. Um, I'm just going to have to be used to having this person live with me. And hopefully it sticks and it's a new beginning. But we will see. But I'm going to be open-minded. And if something happens where, you know, the same kind of trigger came up from the past, I'm going to change my perspective and look at it differently, transmute my energy and heal, let it go. It's the universe, have my angels take it away from me or whoever, even my guardian demon can take it away from me. Um, you know, you can't have light without dark. You can't have dark without light. Like, there just is no good or bad energy. It's just an energy, and it's all how you want to take advantage of it. It's all how you want to use it. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a darker energy that is going to help you in a certain way, especially with shadow work, like, if you're like, okay, like, I'm ready to heal this, like, call upon an energy to bring it up. You know, like, there's certain demons that you can invoke in ceremonial whatever and i'm a very angelic person so for me to even say something like that proves like there is no good or bad not even if a good or bad experience it's all perspective your perception is your reality so yeah you're going to come across some really happy go lucky people today so just Keep that energy in mind. Listen to some music. I don't know, maybe people are Dutch or something and live in hills. And as long as it's not the hills have eyes, then good. Um, you know, obviously there's more to this. Uh, you can look up your chart um, and see how it will affect you. Um, yeah, just be happy, go lucky today, and take care. I take advantage of the blessings from Jupiter. Um, again, the moon is going to bring up blessings and wishes that you once wanted that maybe you feared so badly that you just never thought was going to come to light. But let it go into the universe, release it, and see what happens. Or you already did. Literally, for this person, I put on it for their name, release and let go. <laughs> I still have it too because I'm leaving it until I know I'm safe, I guess. And that's a healthier coping mechanism than I could have used in the past. So have a good day, guys.